hello viewers welcome to another session of my tutorial and i have a problem in applied electricity so you say find the equivalent resistance of the circuit below we have one ohm resistor here two ohm three four and five and this is a branch without any resistor now so from application of the concept of sh short circuit if you have this as a source, current will flow through this one ohm resistor. Upon reaching this junction, it was split. So some will pass here, some will also pass here. Now, upon reaching this junction, the current will see that I have a free path to flow. But there are other obstacles here. Why don't I pass through this free path and skip this place? So this place is a short circuit. It is a branch connecting to nodes where there is zero resistance so it will rather take this part and flow back to the source rather than passing here so we can see the 4 ohm and the 5 ohm are said to be short circuited so let's try the active part of the circuit when i say active parts the part of the circuit working so i have my solution to have my active part of the circuit i have my source then my 1 ohm coming down to my 2 ohm then I have my 3 ohm because it's play part then my short circuit will come the others are not pa forming part of the circuit they are not playing any role because the current does not pass through for them to have an effect on the circuit so I have here 3 ohms 2 ohms and my 1 ohm so from here I need equivalent resistance that's my RT I can see that my 3 ohm and the 2 ohm are in parallel because there is a node here that will make them not be in series. When I traverse through their path, there is no other element. So 2 ohm is parallel to the 3 ohm. And that is giving me 2 times 3 over 2 plus 3. And that is equal to 6 over 5 ohms. Now let's see. If I come and redraw it again, I'll get my source here my 1 ohm and finally so 6 on 5 ohms will be here and I'll have my 1 ohm here so my RT will finally be 1 ohm plus 6 on 5 ohm because they are in series so I have 1 plus 1.2 and this is giving me 2.2 .2 ohms now let's see the second example for the second example is saying that determine the supply current in the circuit below so this is a circuit so we should determine the supply current of this circuit so to find the current you know from ohm's law that voltage is equal to current times resistance so our current will be equal to our voltage over resistance from the circuit we know that the voltage given is 5 volts so we know that our V is equal to 5 volts, but we don't know R. So we are left to find our R. How do you get the R? So to find the R, you have to find the effective resistance of the circuit. That's the RRT. So let's see the active part of this circuit. Now, current will flow through from this source. Upon reaching this junction, was split. Some will pass here, some also pass here. But let's see. Now, So now let's see something. When it passes through and reaches this junction, sorry, when it reaches this junction, it was saying that I have a resistor here, then I have a resistor here, I have a free part here. So applying the concept of short circuit, after I have seen that there is an obstacle here, obstacle here, but there is no obstacle here, why don't I pass through this free of um, this free part? So you can easily see that. The current will skip these 4 ohms, skip these 2 ohms, but will pass here, straight here, and come back to the source. For that reason, the effective circuit or the active circuit is going to be our 3 ohm to the source, then to the short circuit, then back to the source. Our 3 ohms like this. So this is actually the active circuit. These 4 ohm and the 2 ohm are not actually working. So what do we get? So our RT is actually equal to 3 ohms because the only resistor working. 
So our current i is equal to 5 over 3. And this is giving us 5 over 3. So this is giving us 1.67 amperes. So this is the end of my video. Thank you. Kindly subscribe and share. Thank you.